My name's Nick Bailey. Uh, currently, I'm a 46-year-old man living with an acquired brain injury. I've been living with that acquired brain injury since the 10th of April in 1997, so just over 21 years. Um, I was having a few drinks and a meal at the local pub with my best mate and at 10 a.m. 10 p.m. I decided to drive home and at 10 minutes past 10 about 150 meters along the road from my driveway I fell asleep at the wheel of my car ran off the same side of the road and hit a tree. The, the brain injury obviously I, I suffered a severe brain injury um, the right hand side of my body was totally paralysed, both my lungs collapsed through shock. I was in a coma for six weeks and in hospital for six months. Uh, longer term effects, uh, well my brain has to work three times as hard to do exactly the same jobs that somebody without a brain injury does and that creates fatigue. It's, um, it's not noticeable fatigue but my brain feels it and it doesn't work as well when it's fatigued. I'm a morning person generally. I'm Deborah Byrne, I'm the Executive Officer of the Brain Injury Association of Tasmania. The Brain Injury Association is the statewide voice for people living with or impacted by brain injury in Tasmania. But Nick's involvement with BIAT has been with the school programs, so Nick provides a really unique perspective to students and because he has that lived experience of brain injury. Nick's really deserving of live membership of the Brain Injury Association. He's not only been one of our longest members, he's always the first member to pay and I love his confidence in us as an organisation because he always pays 10 years in advance as well. On a more serious note though, Nick's representation through a range of other organisations, Nick really embodies the fact that you know, he is a voice for brain injury in Tasmania, which is you know, one of BIAT's primary roles, is to represent the voice of people with brain injury and Nick's always there to support us in doing that. BIAT represents me as a person with brain injury in Tasmania. I'm represented to the State Government and the Department of Human and Health Services. I also have uh, friends with brain injury and I've provided advice to BIAT um, regarding people's issues with brain injury and somewhat misunderstood at times, but um, my insight to that helps a lot, I think. The one message I like people to know about uh, brain injury is uh, it can happen to anybody. It's, uh, can, you know, it can happen simply from falling over. Um, it can sporting accidents, uh, motor vehicle accidents, road trauma, um, assaults, and that sort of that sort of thing. Uh, it, it can brain injury can happen to anybody, even you. So on behalf of the Brain Injury Association of Tasmania, its members, committee of management and staff, we'd like to congratulate Nick on his life membership. It's certainly very well deserved for all he does for people living with brain injury in Tasmania.